Hello folks, very warm welcome to another video. I hope this one finds you well, physically and, and mentally well. I'm going to talk a little bit about mental health during the course of this flight. We've got a long one ahead of us. Um, so I guess I should offer a bit of a trigger warning. If uh, discussion of, of mental health um, is an issue, for you, uh, feel free to depart this video and um, watch something that isn't so much of an issue. I'm going to be respectful in my discussion. I'm going to be kind as I can be to both myself and to uh, the world at large. Um, but it's a subject that is uh, front and centre of my mind the moment and um, I think it's something that uh, I feel is important to discuss so folks we are going to go for a fly and we're going to fly in this gorgeous aeroplane have a look at it this is a, a livery I've just picked up the black and the red that looks shit hot on a Learjet doesn't it hey um, and it's an FS economy run as well so I flew the Lear into this location, I'll talk about where we are shortly in the flight plan segment. I flew us in a different livery and a different version of the aeroplane. Um, I didn't realise that I was a few versions behind, so I've updated since I, I last flew this one. So we might have a look at the update. I think we're flying 1.2.6 current version. And it's an FS economy run. We're flying, I think, seven packs on a fairly, uh, fairly long journey over uh, to the other side of the continent and where we currently find ourselves, which is a kind of clumsy segue to the flight plan segment. So let's have a look for it. And here we are in little nav map. The continent that I referred to earlier is the continent of North America. And we begin our journey in a little place that you may have heard of, courtesy of a film or a TV series. I think it was a TV series. It was definitely a film, and the film's name was Fargo. Fargo, North Dakota, just across the border from uh, Minnesota there. Fargo, North Dakota, and there is a, a healthy breeze. There's a stiffy blowing in Fargo this afternoon, let me tell you. Um, and our, our journey's going to take us in a kind of a northwesterly direction. So we're going to leave US airspace and then head into Canadian airspace and traverse the province of Saskatchewan. Did I get that correct? I tried. Um, Alberta via Calgary, right overhead Calgary. And then we're going to end up in the province of British Columbia as my little one decides she needs to be heard. Um, and specifically a place called Prince George. Wasn't it nice of the Canadians to name a town after Willie's kid? Hey, Very, very thoughtful of you Canadians. Yes, before I get comments, I know, the dog knows that I'm being an idiot. She's telling me, you dumbass. Folks, that's the flight plan. It's uh, quite a long journey for us, 1,100 miles, bloody hell. Um, and three and a half hours, according to a little nav map. Uh, we've got some headwinds, I reckon, en route, considering the uh, direction which we're travelling. Yeah, the little one is quite nervous by the sounds of it. <laughs> It's probably her way of saying, have you checked the fuel level? Um, of course I checked the fuel level, as if I wouldn't. I'm a total professional. Folks, I'm going to get us started out onto a runway pointing into the, the stiffy, and uh, we'll be on our way. All right, so we're holding short for 2.7. Um, I was actually planning, or should I say, a little map map was suggesting taking off on the other runway. Which I think was 3.6, but we've got, I jump back inside, we've got a decent breeze out of the west, sort of 18 to 20 knots. So 2.7 it is, but what that does is it kind of screws up my plan. <laughs> I was going to have us via Cynics and then a left turn. We don't need to go via Cynics. We can go straight to whatever that VFR is. Um, VOR, Minot, or Minnow, one of those two. Um, we'll get rid of this one, so we'll go direct 
yeah, 200, 200 miles away. Flight level 400 plugged in, so we're, we're going to get high today, folks. It does help to watch my videos, I find, if you're a little high, you know what I mean? Um, you don't want to know how high you have to be to make this shit. But it does help if you're, if you're, uh, well, it helps if you're in a good mood. Can I say that? <laughs> um, right. Local barrow set. We've got the flight plan adjusted. We've got, what's this, what's pitch trim? What's wrong with pitch trim? What's pitch trim? Yeah, that's a question to hear on this channel. Um, <laughs> it's set. Why are you whinging about pitch trim? Me not know. Me not know. And I, me not know what uh, this version of the aeroplane brings either. I haven't done any preparation <laughs> whatsoever. We'll have a, we might have a look at a changelog if I can find one on on route. Um, hopefully they didn't change much. I mean, this is a great aeroplane. I hope, I hope he didn't change how it feels uh, in terms of the handling and stuff because it's oh one of my favourites. Whether it's realistic or not, I don't really care. It just feels right. Hey? I don't need data. I just need the way it feels. Right, I think we're good to go. We've got flaps set. We've got... We do have trim set, despite it's enunciating that there's an issue. I'm pretty right. Where's my heading bug? My heading bug's set to the north. Yeah, well, that would have been handy had we taken off the runway that we intended to. Um, everything else, everything else good? We can turn the steering off, can't we? Ah, and the pitch trim. Huh? How does that work? If I turn steering on, pitch trim comes on. Well, those things, I haven't noticed that before. Anyway, 20 knot, probably about, yeah, we'll call it 20 knots worth of headwind, so we'll, uh, we'll be out of here. It's a shortish runway, but that's fine with the headwind. I think we're right. What am I what am I waiting for? I hear my audience ask. A bit more juicy, thanks. Away we go, we'll kinda of call that power set. Close enough. We're in the brain. Oh, it would have been my left boot required, mate. Airspeed is alive. A lot more left boot required. It's quite a strong breeze, isn't it? There's a hundred. Rotate about 120-ish or something like that, which is around about there, jeez. Oh, she wants to go. Doesn't she? Feels quite light in pitch now. Get rid of that flight director. Don't need that. There we go. Accelerating away. So far, so good. Things in the brain. Pretty good. It's around 160. With some flaps around about there. Continue the acceleration. Slight pitch down. She feels really light in pitch. Or lighter than it was. Am I just imagining that? Right hand turn. Onto track towards the Minot slash Mino VOR. It's 200 knots. All good. <coughs> Little one, it's okay. We're good. I got rid of that pitch trim thing. Is that what you're barking about? Just confirming, aren't you? Rest assured. Oh, she's really sensitive in pitch. Mmm. Did that change in the update? We'll find out, I suppose. Alright. Continuing to uh, accelerate through 250 knots. I'll do some autopilot stuff. She wants to bob around a lot. Alright, there's our, our track. Oh, yeah, this feels um, <laughs> really nimble. Slightest touch in pitch. Yeah, anyway, we'll get, uh, we'll get a little bit of sort of coming on. We'll uh, keep our nav track things, Georgie. And uh, we'll also do IAS. At about 250 knots, if you don't mind, my friend. Yeah, we're going to have a headwind for a big part of this journey, I reckon. A long way to that first VLR. 192 miles. Look at that. Keep zooming out. Still not on the display. There it is. Anyway, 
you safely away folks we'll um we'll see you somewhere on route this is quite a long flight i'll try not to make it too long a video i'll have a look at the change log if i can find one for this uh this version of the aeroplane and um yeah also share some thoughts around the, the broader subject of, uh, of mental health i'll see you in a bit so welcome to flight level four zero zero folks and the, the cabin of this beautiful black and red Lear. Now I was expecting to have some company back here. I'm not exactly sure what's what's happened. I don't know whether it's the livery which might be causing an issue, but if I jump back up front and I jump over here to my payload section, you can see I've got some people turned on. I do. I'm just such a sexy bloke. Um, these people are on, right? So where are they? Mark, where are you? No, toggling doesn't do anything. So I'm not sure what's happening, why the my packs aren't appearing. It's a, it's a very lonely place to be. It's a bit of a ghost plane, isn't it, eh? Hey? Outside, not much to see there. More than a, a fuel tank and a wing. Anyway, jumping back up, up front, folks. Get rid of this thing. Um, yeah, see, flight level four zero zero. Was flying. We're about seven miles short of our first uh, BLR, being Minnow slash Minot. So we're still in North Dakota airspace. We'll eventually cross over into uh, Canada. Um, what are we forecasting fuel-wise? Uh, if I go back, come in here, I go fuel planning. So, we're currently burning through almost 160 gallons an hour. We're doing 400 over the ground, so we're a decent old headwind, hey? Expecting to have almost two hours reserve when we get to Prince Georgie. Yeah, so I loaded up, loaded this aeroplane up with gas before taking off. Didn't want to take any chances. Could sense that the little one was was nervous and with good reason. If you'd watched a few other videos on this channel over the years, we often land with fumes or sometimes we don't even have fumes. Um, but yeah, we're going to be fine today. What are we, um, what are we tazzing up here? We're tazzing 450. So we've got a, a wind speed of 53, and we're all, yeah, it's all, it's all heck. 53? I didn't see 53 on the display before. I'm seeing 25. What's going on there? Is that a, is that a bug with the, the GTN? Why is it displaying 25, but the other one's reporting, it's reporting the correct ground speed. I believe that there's 53 knots on the nose, but why is that only showing 25? If someone uh, knows the answer to that, feel free to, to chime in in the comments. I do learn a lot by the, uh, the people who share their, <laughs> their views on the comments. Don't always learn positive things. Um, there are some views which are shared which are certainly not positive, which kind of leads me Again, via another clumsy segue into a discussion about all about mental health. Um, I've had the talk about this because in the last few days I've heard of a couple of people um, whom I didn't know personally. Uh, a couple of people who have taken their own lives. Um, the ripple effect of those events in both cases are pretty significant. And it's just a reminder that mental health really is a scourge on our society. It's a problem that's not getting any better. It's a problem that's manifesting 
and tragic wise. And it's something that we should talk about, particularly the male of the species. It's something that we need to help each other with. If you're listening to this, male or female, but there's a 99.5% chance of your male based on what Google tells me. And you are struggling with your mental health for whatever reason. For whatever reason. You should do something about it. And what that something is looks different for everyone. There's no one size fits all solution. But doing nothing about it, hoping it'll change, believing that you can, time, time will heal. Um, it's not a healthy approach to take. Yeah, and there's something that you can do about it looks different to everyone. It could be as simple as going for a walk. It could be as simple as having a conversation with someone. It could be as simple as patting your dog. And telling said dog that you kind of wish you didn't bark so much when you were making flight sim videos. <laughs> At the same time, I'm kind of glad that she does, because it's a reminder that she's in my life. It's a reminder to be grateful. And I am. But as you know, as I'm guessing that most people do know, gratitude isn't the, of its own, by itself, is not the, the fix. Um, you can have gratitude for things and still be in trouble mentally. There's just so much suffering out there in the world. And doing something earlier rather than later um, means that we'll have less tragic events. And unfortunately all of us all of us know of tragic events in our lives. Some of us may have witnessed them. Maybe living with that that residue, if I can use that word. There's help out there. Find it. So I'm well into Canadian airspace at this point, folks. Probably about two hours away from uh, from touchdown. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to. Um, inform myself of the changes that have been made to this aeroplane since I uh, flew the last version. And the last version was several versions ago for me. Um, several versions. So, this is 1.2.6, the version I'm flying in this video. It was updated on the 14th of March. It's always a challenge when the dates, formats is around the other way. I won't say the wrong way, just the other way to how we write it here in Australia. 14th of March, the updates. I'll call out anything that um, is standing out to me. I'll do it that way. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff here that I. it's nice, but I don't really care. Um, bugs, yoke was not animating when autopilot was on. Really, I didn't notice that. The 750 buttons now play sound. Okay, hadn't noticed. I've got, I think I've got mine turned off. Um, new feature. <laughs> there we go. I can vouch for that. It is new. The new pitch trim enunciator was added to the glare shield. Okay. I can absolutely verify that that happens. Rotary knobs. No blue. Calling the fuel truck now shows fuel nozzles for both tip tanks. I don't think I've ever called a fuel truck. 
version 1.2.5, that was on the 9th of March. We may have found new settings that prevent the defender false positive. Huh? In English? What? I don't... It, do you mean uh, Windows Defender, the water and um, antivirus thing? Alright, bugs. Um, we recently added some code that prevents code flooding. And we broke the fuel transfer from the trunk to the wings, causing the engine to flame out. Ooh, that's a nasty bug. Glad they squashed that one. There was a 1.2.4 hotfix. Tablet checklist directory font are back to white. Alright, bugs, light effects, conflict with the Chancellor. Has the Chancellor been updated? recently as well. Probably has. Okay. 1.2.3. I didn't have that one installed either. Tablet. Okay. Loading on runway now sets the elevator trim to 6.2 degrees up. Oh, okay. I never load on the runway. 1.2.2. That was on the 4th of March. No, I think I had 1.2.1. I haven't updated for a while. Both pilot, LCD, heads up display, loading on runway. Major flight dynamics update. Hmm. So they did update the dynamics. It feels sportier. Rich, the Lear 35A instructor, volunteered over 100 hours tuning stuff. Rich, the Learjet 35A instructor. Oh, that's handy to have someone, an instructor, no less. Okay, well, there you go. Who am I to argue with Rich? Recalibrated, recalibrated, texture update. Seatbelt updates coming soon. What's that mean? <laughs> Alright, some bugs. New feature. Tablet now includes an options page that uses the save state feature. Oh. Okay. Added fuel. Yeah, da, 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 da. Right. Okay. All the options. Oh, you can save stuff. Move show passengers. Well, maybe there might be a bug in the show passengers. Or maybe it's just the livery I'm using. Could be. Yeah. So, 1.2.1 was the version that I last flew before this flight. So that's that's a lot of changes, eh? That's a lot of changes. There was a flight dynamics update. Interesting. Feels a little yeah, a little more nimble. Especially in pitch. Folks, I'll probably see you next um, sometime during the approach. Sound alright? Dead set, mate. It's like looking in the mirror. Folks, I worked out how to get my passengers to show and almost regret that I did when I got this guy giving me the death stare we've met him before I think on a previous previous flight I'm going to look the other way mate. Oh, geez, that's a close up shot isn't it lovely uh, eyelashes though mate I must say yeah um so yeah, the show passengers thing is on the is on a different page of the tablet. That's why I wasn't getting them to show. If only I'd done the change log segment before that other segment. <laughs> could have saved myself some time and used some some pain. Of course I could have done I could have gone one step further than that and actually looked at the change log and done some research before hitting record at the start of this video. But that would require a level of professionalism that has never existed in this tired old mind. Anyway, folks, just wanted to let you know, I worked it out how to show passengers. <laughs> Yay me. I'll see you for an approach. All right, uh, established on the Arnav approach. Folks, Prince George Field, somewhere out there. We have entered some cloud. We're in and out of rain. 
down through six. We're about to uh, take the turn, the racetrack pattern, which will bring us around and eventually line us back up with uh, runway one five. Thank you, Georgie. Anytime you want to begin that turn, mate, we'll take an external while you do that. Beautiful, hey? Lovely part of the world, British Columbia, isn't it? Special shout out to you. You are from this locale. We might go hand flying uh, in a momento. Once we get down to five, yeah, five thousand. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it now, Georgie. What do you reckon? Give you the rest of the day off, champ. You've done well, mate. You've done, uh, you've done really well. We'll go and arm those thrust reverses while we can. Get rid of that flight director. Bye bye. Continue the turn. Sort of a constant rate turn around the corner by the looks of it. Into 200 knots. 5,000 feet. What is the uh, constraint? What's it say? 5.3 or something like that. 5.3. We're at 5.49. Yeah, what's 400 feet between friends? We're all good. We've got the lateral thing tra uh, travelling pretty well here. We're doing all right. We can even zoom in a little bit, make it even easier for us. We're just in, we're just cutting inside. Just cutting inside. Under 200 knots now, so we can think about flap extension. Breeze looks like a a light easterly at this time. Visibility is deteriorating. <laughs> as we continue. It was nice VFR conditions when we started. I want to take flap, Georgie, if you don't mind. Just cutting that corner a little bit fine now. Very sensitive in pitch, but as we found out that there has been a, a change to the flight dynamics. This will slow down a little bit further. Have we got the field in sight? I'm seeing lights. Are you two seeing lights, folks? Squint. Hard. They're out there. Turning on to final. We're about 180 knots now. One stage of flap out, 4,000 feet. She's pretty nimble in roll as well now. I mean, it always was. She's a sporty little beast. The Lears. Take gear as we establish ourselves on final. That is a runway. Rear trimming. Three reds, I think. Two whites, two reds now. Think about second stage of flat. And you've got three miles to run. 60 knots. Almost think about flaps full. Just to get down a little bit more. 150 is our VFE, isn't it? We'll call that 150 go. Flaps full. Alright, our gear is down, our flaps are set. Our fingers are crossed and our sphincters are nice and tight. Are you trimming? Adjusting. A little bit of a distraction here. My dog feels like, oh, I feel like she's about to bark. Hold it in, little one. Hold it in. We're almost there. Retrimming. Runway 15, Prince George, folks. Here we go. Firm. Very, very firm. Not quite as we intended. Do we have reverses? We do. Oh, that was quite a, an ordinary touchdown. Not pleased with that. Perhaps you should have barked, little one. <laughs> Perhaps I deserved a, a good barking. Anyway, folks, thank you for your company in, uh, in another video. 
It has been appreciated. Thank you, little one, for uh, your company as always. Folks, until we next meet, you um, stay well and enjoy your swimming, hey? Especially uh, look after your mental health. Look after each other. Bye for now, folks.